G power is one of the freely available uh, statistical software that can be used to determine the sample size. It is of an important piece of tool for those who want to do a research and they want to determine the sample size and the number of participant or individual to recruit to their study. To download the software, type in the Google G Power, click enter and select the first link here for this website and in this website it will allow you to download freely the software for statistical analysis for both platforms of Mac and Windows. So scroll down to download section and click on the uh, link which is of uh, suitable to your settings. So for downloading the Windows version for the G Power um, edition 3.1.9.7s, uh, once you click on that, download that, install that. And once it is installed, click on the icon for the software and it will launch the software. It is very straight, simple, easy to use piece of software. Before start using the software, you need to have a few things predetermined uh, in your study. Whether you are a scientist or a researcher and you want to write a grant proposal or to get fund or to start a research and you want to allocate a number of participants in your study and you had uh, divided your day your your samples into groups two groups or more and you want to determine how many participants should i include in each group to perform uh, 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 analysis on it uh, uh, futuristically. So this piece of software will try to determine and calculate the number of the individual uh, or cases to recruit to your study prior to you conducting the research. So it is uh, um, planning in advance how many individual to include in the study and uh, i.e. helping in determining the sample size as the sample size will be representing a population. Before you start using the software, you need to have a clear hypothesis, objectives and aims of your current or future uh, research study. So you need to make sure that they are, these are clear and well defined based on those then you could divide your study into groups and start allocating individual to groups so you need first of all to have a clear hypothesis clear objective then you need to uh, have a clear uh, um, um, perception of which statistical test to use whether it is t-test ANOVA regression chi-square, correlation, and so on. This software comes with a pre-set uh, test and predetermined test. As shown here, the test family that can be in used to calculate and determine the sample size is the exact test, the F test, the T test, the chi-square test, and the Z test. Those are statistical tests, most common. And there is also a type of power analysis. There are options here to choose from for the one to calculate the sample size prior to or before, then the options of a priori could be used. However, for analysis after 
doing the experiment and obtaining the data and then getting the statistical analysis, then you could use a post hoc. So there are several options to choose from. The software also come with pre-defined tests that can be used in, uh, uh, for, uh, in this software for statistical analysis to determine the sample size. So whether you're, you're planning to do a correlation and regression uh, such as a Pearson R correlation or simple linear regression or multiple linear regression or logistic regression, then the software could determine the sample size for you, uh, for your study um, based on certain inputs. You could use also another statistical um, test uh, if you do have uh, two groups such as t-test for paired and unpaired groups or samples could use also determine the sample size for um, a study that has a multiple group such as ANOVA and COVA, MANOVA and so on. You could also uh, use if you are intending to use uh, Fisher exact test then the software will calculate the number of participants to recruit to your study could also use the variance and also the generic to start using the software you need to have certain things prefixed and determined in your mind and those are the input parameters the input parameters such as the Tails, whether you want to do an analysis for one tails, tailed analysis or two tailed and determine the p-value, statistical significance, uh, you could cho go choose between one or two. Uh, that can be inserted by uh, manually by the uh, user of the software. Also, another important parameter that need to be inserted in a to use a software is called effect size, which is the minimal differences between your group of study, whether you have a two groups or three groups, what is the minimal difference between those groups. The effect size can be obtained through three different ways. The first one is to look through the literature and get this effect size from the literature for a similar study uh, to the one you intend to plan to carry on. Uh, so that can be uh, extracted from the literature, uh, looking at a research paper, a previous research paper that you used similar theme of your project and then they should determine the effect size and uh, put a value for that. A second way to uh, the insert obtain a value for this uh, if we click here and as we can see uh, the software give you an option uh, to, to select from the effect size whether to go for small medium or large um, so these uh, values for the small medium and large range from 0.1 to 0.5 0.1 for small, 0.3 for medium, 0.5 for large. Let's say if I decided to go and determine a, a sample size for a test that I intend to do to my, uh, in, my, in my study using two independent groups, then I have a layout here that um, uh, require an input. So for this example of uh, uh, two uh, unpaired samples using t-test you could use the two, two tail and then select the uh, effect size and here you will get an options whether to use from 0 0.2 0 0.5 0 0.8 for the t-test as that's at a convention you could go for the medium as that can be uh, uh, mostly used which is 0 0.5 a third way to determine or obtain the effect size 
if there is no available literature uh, for that or if you are not keen on using the preset value determined by the software then you could do something called the pilot study in which you have a small number from each group from small participant from each group you do the um, research on them get the data and then determine the mean and the standard deviation for those small pilot study and if you click on this icon for determine it gives you this options to insert your mean for the group one mean for group two standard deviation one and two for this pilot study and it will and if you click calculate it will determine the um, effect size value which is d here and that can be copied into this square uh, rectangular here or in this place so uh, that is the third way of obtaining the effect size and the effect size can be calculated by a formula for a, co a formula following a Cohen's d uh, um, the uh, equation another input that is also uh, important to uh, help and assist in calculating the sample size is the type one error which is alpha p-value and it's usually the most common one is used is 0.05 another value also is or parameter is the uh, p-value which stands for type two error and the p-value usually uh, used is the point two so to calculate the power the power is statistical power is equal to one minus the p value which is 0.2 and then you could obtain the value for the uh, statistical power which is 0.8 the another parameter to insert also determine is the allocation ratio if you have two groups of uh, data or two samples and you want to calculate the sample size uh, or how many uh, individual I need to recruit to each group then you could say I want each group the uh, control group let's say control group uh, compared to disease or control compared to uh, treatment group um, uh, I want the control, the ratio between both to be equal or I want the control numbers of participants in control uh, group to be double uh, the numbers in the diseased one. So that is to determine what is the ratio between these groups. And if you click on calculate, then the software will automatically determine for you the sample size for each group and the total uh, sample size to recruit for this study so this software is uh, one of the software that is freely available online and it can be of a great acid and help to those who are intending to do a research or are writing a grant proposal to recruit fund to perform research um, and this software uh, will be able to do that based on whatever statistical test you intend to use uh, within your future analytical uh, statistical uh, analysis of your data